Hello everybody, it's Newscrafts here. Welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this thing that I just used, and that is a two-floor slime block launcher elevator. Now I'm just going to say it, the hay bale is optional. It's just to prevent fall damage and survival. Totally doesn't need to be there, but it can be. I'm just going to cut the nonsense and say you need a three-block tall area in order for it to be the right size. And... And there's going to be two buttons, one for up and one for down. Basically just three block tall area with some blocks up here. Because that's part of your wall on the next floor. Like that. Just expand the floor by one block more. Alright, so you're going to want to come to, around to the back and put a torch in the middle. That's just the first thing you're going to do. Then come out three blocks. Put a sticky piston, remove that block, put a dust, go down a block like that, and put a dust on top of it. Put a sticky piston, it'll extend, put an observer, put a block on the piston arm, a block out from there, then grab a repeater, put a block on its face, put a sticky piston, then put a slime block on that sticky piston, and you're going to need the torches. Put a torch on every side available, and put normal pistons facing upward. Upward, I said. Upward, oh my god. On those piston heads. Make sure that repeater's on one tick. Put your final one of those. Then put piston going this way. Observer watching it. Observer watching its head. Put a block and then another final piston there. And that is most of the bottom section. Just put in your button. Then come up here, put a block and a sticky piston. Then put a piece of dust there and another sticky piston facing toward that block. Then just put a button on one of those two blocks like that. As you can see, the top opens up, and you fall through. And on the bottom, that crazy thing happens, and you get launched up to the next floor. And then this part is completely up to you. Just decide, do you want a hay bale here to prevent fall damage? And if you do, just put it there. It's not going to change any of the redstone. Alrighty, this has been Steve's Crafts, and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, then just go. But anyways, that's been the whole video and the tutorial. If you like the build, as I said, give it a like because it's a, it's a good build. It's a fun build. Anyways, I'm going to go play with flying machines now.